just when you thought Showtime couldn't do it no bigger, no realer, or no triller, they did, man. You know what I'm saying? Great weekend of boxing, man. If you didn't like this weekend of boxing, then you ain't no real boxing fan, man. Now, let's get into some trill boxing talk, though, bitch. <clears throat> Throw we on that ape shit. Mother work. Gorilla hey. niggas hunger eat your play shit. Uh, uh. We don't shoot at legs, bitch. We face shit. Bop, bop, bop. You know, staying gang quick to take shit. Give it up. Let the steel on that trap at sex and a shit. Trap, hey. trap still rolling on some skate shit. Bite steady. Now look, junkie say I got a great wrist. Real. Set up shop on my block. You become a great lick. Nigga, you a special hey. man. Hey. Step inside the booth and unloosen the top 503 line is alive. LDBC, what's up, man? It's your homie 503 line coming back to you. Early morning grind. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the whole Lions Den boxing community. Shout out to the whole Smoke City Mobcast, man. And shout out to all the Trill fight fans out there, man. You know what I'm saying? Putting it down. You know what I'm saying? For the real and trill. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way we gonna deal. But uh <clears throat> let's get straight into it, man. This uh weekend fight, man. Um I really didn't get um, a, a lot. <clears throat> I really didn't get a lot of chance to talk about it because uh, I was busy over the weekend, man, with uh, working and um, training my sons for football and stuff, man. But uh, I want to get into it right now while I got a little time early morning grind. You know how it go, man. So um, if you didn't know, man, that, now you need to know that you need to go to that Smoke City Mobcast on Instagram where we, you know what I'm saying, are giving you all the latest and greatest boxing content media news man you know what i'm saying so if you missed out on any weekend <clears throat> events in boxing you can go straight to the smoke city give us a like give us a follow give us a comment man and if you need um any promo or you want to holler at us man just hit us up in the dm you dig but um let, let's recaps this weekend's events or fights <clears throat> and showtime boxing um april the 21st man we had uh first up tank davis versus uh uh, Jose Celiar, I think that's how you say his name. Uh, Jesus Celiar, and um, this was a uh, a one-sided fight. Tank dominated. Um, he came out aggressive, um, trying to um go to the body and land shots. Um, he was sitting down on all his punches. He was looking for the knockout, and um, Tank basically uh stole the show. Yeah. My bad, child. He basically stole the show, man. Um, came out first. Um, got the knock. Was the first person to get a knockout. Was the first thing that the uh, fans saw if he was tuning in early. Um, it was a good fight for Tank, man. I'm glad he's a uh, another two-time champion. <coughs> the sky's the limit for him. Will he fight Lomachenko next? Will he fight um uh, another guy at 130? Will he try to get his old belt back from Tevin Former? Will he unify? What what is what is Tank's plan? You know what I'm saying? We shall get into that in a later video in another time. But I want to give a big ups to Team Tank Davis, man. You know what I'm saying? Great win, great stoppage. And a, another good way to be the one of the youngest two-time world champions in the world by picking up that WBA belt over the weekend. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, then we have uh, Jamal Charlo versus Hugo Santana Jr. for the WBC interim title. This was a great um, showcase fight for Jamal Charlo. I expected a knockout. You know what I'm saying? He set the tone and um, for the card. He kept he kept the, he kept the fans into it, and um, he did what he was supposed to do, man. I wasn't expecting nothing else but a knockout and a stoppage from Jamal Charlo. Now he did it earlier than what I expected, and I want to say it came in the second or third round of the fight. And uh, I thought it was gonna be maybe like an eighth or uh, tenth round stoppage, late round stoppage. But uh, shout out to Charlo, man. Um, what's next for Charlo? He has, of course, the Triple G mandatory spot. But we all know Triple G isn't, isn't going to fight him. Um, maybe he can get get at Daniel Jacobs. Uh, or maybe he can fight Remachinko, the IBF mandatory for um, Gennady Golovkin. That would be a good fight, man. So the sky's the limit for uh, Jamal Charlo. He can just uh, stay busy. You know, that not get discouraged by... Uh, bum ass cherry picking triple G and hopefully we'll see him um again real soon. Then the cap off the night we had Adrian Broner versus Jesse Vargas, which was uh, a highly anticipated welterweight fight. Um 
I was back and forth with this fight all uh, all week, man. But I thought Adrian Broner was gonna pull it off. Um, but he didn't. He got the draw. <coughs> he let Jesse Vargas win some of those um, earlier rounds in the fight, and he tried to come on in, in the second half of the fight. Damn near got the stoppage in the ninth round, but he didn't. He couldn't close the show. So um, it went to decision, and he left it in the judges' hands, and they said it was a draw. But uh, my biggest concern for AB is what we really need to know where AB goes from here because he still hasn't um, filled out a weight check. We don't know if he's campaigning at 140 or 147. He barely made 144. He had to strip ass naked just to make 144. And um, we don't really know, man. So I'm, I'm, I'm really more concerned with Adrian Broner's next step and his next fight and what 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 are, what are his plans? Are he are, is he just gonna keep collecting paychecks and not trying to go after belts or is he gonna fight any champions from 140 to 147? You know what I'm saying? What is, what what is his true and um desirable goal? What what is his what is his true goal that he really wants in the sport of boxing? Now I know these guys all want to get paid and that's um obvious and that's and that's understanding but at the end of the day if you're not in it for legacy or you're not trying to become undisputed then what are you really doing it for besides the money you know what i'm saying and um i gotta give uh this weekend's fight um a, a plus <clears throat> i will be dropping more videos over this weekend's fights you had amir khan uh lagreco you know what I'm saying? I want to talk about a little bit about that in my, in my next video coming up, man. But let me know what y'all think about Showtime Boxing and um, the status of Showtime Boxing. And are you liking the, the output that Showtime Boxing is giving us fight fans, man? So let me know what y'all y'all think about it, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you guys think about Showtime Boxing. This weekend's um, events, you know what I'm saying? Recap it. Let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts in the comment section, man. And that's motherfucking me trill. And one thing I know and two things for sure, you can love me, like me, or hate me, but I'm going to keep that motherfucking heat. And that's trill. Gotta run on my racks, trying to stay out the way. I stay with that joint, nigga, watch what you say. My demons.